Hello, welcome to the second part of this tutorial on how to display a VR scene in half on 3D in Python. For those who have not seen it, I advise you to watch the first part of this tutorial. You will find a link in the description. So, let's create our main loop. Main loop. We will wait for the user to press the escape key to finish the program hg dot read keyboard dot key hg dot k s cape and hg we also wait for the user to close the window hg dot is window open and we give him our window as an entrance. We will need the delta t between each frame dt equal hg dot tick clock. Then we will initialize the view id. For more information about the views, I invite you to watch the tutorial First Steps with the Arfan Python wheel. You can find a link in the description. So we start by updating the scene. Scene.update using the GT. Then we create an object which gathers the identifiers of the views used by the Arfan pipeline. Hg.scene for word pipeline pass view id in vr we need two or even three renderings a rendering for the left a a rendering for the right a and eventually a feedback to the screen of what the vr headset user sees for all these renders arfan will use several views these different rendering phases are generated in separate views to be combined in the frame buffers that we created at the beginning of our program. Some information is common to all viewpoints. For example, in general, the position of drop shadows does not need to be recalculated for each viewpoint. We will therefore start by calculating this common information. View ID pass view equal hg dot prepare scene for word pipe line common render data we give it the view id the scene render data this is the structure we initialized here. This render data structure is only used internally by Harfon. Pipeline resources and pass view. Next, we will create the VR state object. This object contains the matrices of the head and the matrices of the two eyes, which will be used for the rendering. So for this, we use the function hg.openVRGetState. So the OpenVR library will return the different matrices of the helmet. Camera node.getTransform getWorld. As we saw before, to get the helmet's matrices, we first give it the body's matrix. It is the only matrix whose position and orientation the user can control. Then, the headset detects the head movements and calculates the matrices for the final rendering. Get world, then the Z near, 0, 1, and the Z far for both right and left views of the helmet. Then left right equal hg dot open vr state to view state vr state 
From the headset matrices, this function will calculate the view state that will be used for the renderings. View matrices, projection matrices, and frustums. The air a rect equal hg dot int rect zero zero comma vr state dot with comma vr state dot eight. So here we have determined the size of the rectangle of each A from the VR state, which contains the resolution of the rendering textures in which the scene will be displayed for the right A and for the left A. Then we will render the left A, view ID, comma pass, view equal hg dot pre par scene forward pipeline view d pan don't render data we give it the current view id left the render state of the left a the scene of course the render data structure, the pipeline, the resources, and the current pass view. And then we will render comma pass view equal hg dot submit scene to forward pipeline this is where the final rendering will take place view id send vr a rect this is the rectangle in which the scene will be rendered in the left a from buffer left so the left render state pipeline the resources and the frame buffer of the left A, VR left FB dot get handle. Then we will do the same thing for the right A. So here a copy past is enough. We just change left to right, render data, pass view, here right and the frame buffer right. And here we have a rendering of the left A on the right A. The scene was rendered twice. So obviously in VR you see that it requires more resources to the machine than a normal display. In addition, we are going to do a third rendering. We will display on the screen what the user sees in VR. For this, we will use the head matrix and not the A matrix. So, screen view state. We will start by calculating the projection and view matrices for the screen display. HG dot compute perspective view state. VR state dot head k Mera comp dot get fov the angle of view camera comp get z near camera comp dot get z far and then the ratio compute as Aspect ratio width 8, the ratio of the window we have opened. And finally, we will use the same set of functions as for the left and right A renders, modifying the render state and the frame buffer. So here we will replace with screen view state. 
comments below hg dot int rect zero comma zero comma width eight this view will be displayed in the whole window screen view state and we don't specify the output from buffer since we display the rendering in the main window. And finally, we are going to render the main window and we also need to render the VR. hg.openVR submit frame VR left FB VR right FB. This is the equivalent of the frame function, but frame is only used for the main window and OpenVR needs an equivalent function specifying the frame buffer in which the views will be rendered, left A, right A. Finally, don't forget to update the window, hg.up.window, window, and once the program is finished, hg dot render shut down and hg dot destroy window window then we will test the program and the program works well and there you have it. With Harfon 3D, you can create a virtual reality experience in just a few dozen lines of Python. And that's it. This tutorial is now over. You can subscribe and click on the bell to receive all notifications. See you soon in a new tutorial.